In Sean's video entitled, Frequently Asked Questions About God, he responded to the following question. If the Earth is 6,000 years old, then why do we see the light of stars which need millions of years to reach us? In addition to implying that God may have created the light already en route, Sean also provided the following alternate possibility. The first thing that you need to know is that a light year is not a time, it is a distance based on the speed of light. That being said, has the speed of light always been constant? Is God capable of speeding up the speed of light? Well, Harvard students have, so I assume God can too. Other videos have been made that thoroughly falsify the hypothesis that the speed of light in a vacuum was exponentially greater in the past. For instance, this video by CDK007 demonstrates that the two million-fold increase in speed necessitated by biblical literalism would result in Earth being currently molten. But the purpose of this video is to address the specific research that Sean presented as evidence of a previously increased speed of light. This is the article Sean referenced. Incredibly, he claims that the speed of light was increased in this research, yet the article clearly indicates that they only slowed it down. Quote, her first trick was slowing a pulse of light to a crawl, 15 miles per hour as it traveled through a Bose-Einstein condensate. Since then, Howe has completely frozen a pulse and then released it, and recently she shot a pulse into one BEC and stopped it, turning the BEC into a hologram, a sort of matter version of the pulse. Then she transferred that matter waveform into an entirely different BEC nearby, which emitted the original light pulse." End quote. So the article is saying that an electromagnetic wave was slowed to around 15 miles per hour, then converted into a matter wave traveling around 0.13 miles per hour, then converted back into an electromagnetic wave. For the sake of being thorough, let's verify that this is in fact what the researchers did. To do so, we'll need to examine the primary publication of this research. And here it is. Coherent Control of Optical Information with Matter Wave Dynamics by Ginsberg, Garner, and Howe, published in Nature. They describe the process as follows. Ultra-slow light propagation in Bose-Einstein condensates represent an extreme example of resonant light manipulation using cold atoms. Here, we demonstrate that a slow light pulse can be stopped and stored in one Bose-Einstein condensate, and subsequently revived from a totally different condensate 160 micrometers away. Information is transferred through conversion of the optical pulse into a traveling matter wave. But how fast was that matter wave traveling? Figure 2a gives us the answer. The caption reads, In A, the light pulse is revived in the second BEC after 2.67 milliseconds, during which time the two-atom pulse travels 157 micrometers. Dividing distance by time gives us the speed, which comes out to 0.0588 meters per second. When this is multiplied by the conversion factor to miles per hour, we see that the matter wave was in fact traveling at 0.13 miles per hour. Clearly, demonstrating that light can be impeded doesn't indicate that its speed was previously increased, especially by the amount necessary for a very young universe. But what about other examples, ones that actually involve increases in certain velocities? To answer that, we need to know what light is and how it behaves. Light is an electromagnetic wave, that is to say, a traveling sinusoidal disturbance in an electromagnetic field. The velocity at which a given phase of the wave moves is called the phase velocity, but the transmission of energy, and thus of information, called the signal, is only achieved by modulating some aspect of the wave. If the amplitude is sinusoidally modulated, the velocity at which a given phase of this wave of waves moves is called the group velocity. It's for this reason that signal velocity is typically equivalent to group velocity, specifically when phase velocity is greater than group velocity. When traveling in a vacuum, the wave is unimpeded. Phase and group velocities are equivalent with a magnitude c of 299,792,458 meters per second. But when traveling through matter, the wave is traveling through a field partially determined by the motion of millions of charge carriers, namely electrons, which change the phase velocity. The measure of this effect is referred to as a given medium's refractive index, and it's equivalent to c over phase velocity. Refractive index is typically greater than 1, but can be less than 1, resulting in a phase velocity that exceeds c. 
But this isn't in conflict with special relativity, because as previously stated, it's typically group velocity that corresponds to signal velocity. It's also possible for the refractive index of a medium to change with frequency, resulting in the combination of waves with a group velocity that's slower or faster than c. But a group velocity greater than c can only occur when it exceeds phase velocity. And in such cases, signal velocity doesn't correspond to group velocity and is limited by the phase velocities of the constituent waves. In fact, the group velocity can even be zero. It can even be negative. What special relativity prohibits is the transmission of energy, such as photons of light, and information faster than c, thus preventing an effect from preceding its cause. This is expressed as signal velocity is less than or equal to c, and in all of the previously described cases that is what's observed. If Sean had chosen an article reporting an observed increase in phase or group velocity beyond c, his mistake would have been understandable. But instead, he chose one that only involved light with a slow group velocity. Ultra-slow light at that. With a conversion to a yet slower matter wave, no less. I can only speculate that perhaps he didn't read the article, and only referenced it, screencapped it, edited it into his video, and displayed it in high definition, because it had the terms speed of light and magic in the title. <laughs>